So the best model for a teacher pay raise. Within the Republican caucus, there's been a discussion of, do you vote for the one, two, or three model? $1,000 the first year, $2,000 the second, $3,000 the third, or simply an adjustment to the basic minimum, the floor. And we, in appropriations, did pass out the one adjusting the basic floor. Um, I don't remember the amounts. I'm sure Representative Sears will. And uh, we did have a discussion of if that can't be funded this year. You asked me which one is the best. Um, I personally wish that we didn't set the floor, that we block granted the money to the school districts and let the school boards and the administration decide how to apportion those monies depending on where their needs are, depending on performance, incentives. Broadly, that's the thing I would like to see, but that's not gonna happen. Um, so of the two, I believe um, raising the base is the best because then any additional dollars that BPS or another district has, they can then allocate to additional teacher pay increases. Um, but again, the frustration is, do you vote for one or the other, knowing it may just be a framework this year because of the taxpayer's shortfall? Or do you vote no because the money may not be there and then be perhaps seen as voting against teacher pay rates? So really to have a philosophical discussion about that. So my best answer is I think it would be to uh, increase the base and uh, let the school districts have as much flexibility as possible.